as far as on the trade issue, uh, markets seem to, you know, not really taking you know his tweets to account though interestingly when he was tweeting about uh, about korea and war and also during sort of the fire and fury uh, stuff uh markets did seem to take that a little bit more seriously you're right uh, markets are green uh perhaps they're just being overwhelmed because so far we've had um just like in the last you know i don't know like 10 tweets we've had uh, the president uh talk about iran uh we've had him go again after amazon uh, we've had, of course, the uh, the anti-Fed tweet, so maybe it's just a little bit uh, paralysis by being overwhelmed with the sheer number of fights he seems to be picking on Twitter over the last 48 hours to, you know, a couple days. Greg, so, so what should we be paying attention to when it comes to either official statements or actions out of the White House? The uh, tariff threat has people perhaps a little queasy, it seems, uh, investment-wise, but not overly nauseous, and, and these statements aren't moving the markets. Do you think they should be? What, what are you watching? There's a lot of uncertainty baked into the market already. I'd like to bet that without all the trade tensions, the S&P would be up quite a lot uh, more this year than it already is. Uh, that said, going forward, what you want to look for is specifics. It's not enough to have the president tweeting about how the European Union is manipulating its currency or China's ripping us off. You want to look for specific actions, for example, by Robert Lighthizer moving forward on additional tariffs, publishing the products that are going to hit, approaching deadlines. I'd say, John, the part of the weekend that I guess bothered me the most was that uh, amidst uh, Secretary Mnuchin's meetings with his counterparts in Argentina, there was no sign of any off-ramps. There was no meeting with China, no opportunity to discuss what China might specifically offer that will get these tariffs lifted, and the Europeans pushing back very hard against the Americans saying, we will not negotiate with a gun to our head. First you pull out, you take off the tariffs on steel, drop the threat on tariffs on autos, then we'll talk. So we're looking at this situation where the United States has started a lot of fights and nobody really knows how to end them. Right. No, but I, I, even I, last... Oh. Uh, no, Jimmy, I was going to go to you and, and say uh, uh, whether or not you think this meeting this week with Juncker is dis more decisive than any China discussion, at least in the near term. Well, listen, uh, you know, obviously, we're, you know, we're, we're talking here. We don't seem to be talking to China. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, again, uh, you know, again, what the end game looks like. For instance, uh, an obvious deal would be perhaps uh, for Europe to get rid of its auto tariffs, and maybe we would get rid of that 25% tariff uh, on pickup trucks, on light trucks. The president, has, I don't think, has ever mentioned uh, that tariff, which, which, which would seem to be an obvious thing we might, uh, we might offer in a deal. So I don't know what that deal looks like. And Listen, just imagine if instead of uh, tweeting about Iran, if in big capital letters the president tweeted, we must have phase two tax cuts, important for American economy. I think we might see the market do a little bit better. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.